Hello and welcome to PMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to run a query on regular schedule and send the output via email in PMC Discovery. Let's take a look at the demo. Let's log into BMC Discovery Appliance as system user. Let's take a look at the host and from customize option, we will select OS class. For this demo, we will create a query that will list all the host with OS class as windows. So we'll select the windows from here. We'll click on customize, raw query, copy this query and go to explore and query again. Place this query over here and all we want to know is the summary. So run the query again, click on customize and raw query. And this is the final query that we will use. The first step is to write a script that can schedule a query and send the result by email. Let's log in to this appliance from command line. Let's log in as Tideway user. You can create the script directly here or you can also write it in a simple notepad and then use tool like WinSCP to move the script to the appliance. To understand the script creation, for now we will write the script in notepad. First we will enter a comment. We will create a file called as windows underscore host.sh and we will store it in a path USR tideway. The first step is going to be remove the previously output file if it's there. So we will call that file as results.csv and we will add the command to remove it. The next step is running the query. For this, we will use the utility twquery. We will use the username as reports here in administration and users. We can see that reports is a user with uh, just read only permission. Here we will enter the password for the user. You can use the password directly over here or the another option is use the option password file and give the path of the file where the password is stored. In this example, we will just use the password. Then we will add the option that we want this file as CSV file. The result will be stored in temp directory and the file name would be results.csv. And now we will enter our query over here. This is going to be a CSV file. So we want to remove the additional blank lines from the file. And in order to do that, we will introduce to one command DOS to Unix and then add the path of the file. Now we will write the section for emailing the results. You have to provide relevant SMTP info and the email address. Let's save this file as windows underscore host.sh. Now we will log into the server a Tideway user from WinSCP. In USR Tideway, we will copy this file. Because we have created this file in Windows OS, we will once perform DOS to Unix and convert the file in Unix format. Once this is done, the next step is to schedule this with the cron tab. In order to do that, let's create a cron file. To understand the structure, we will create this file in notepad. We will call this file windows underscore host cron file and we will save it in the path USR tightway etc cron. For this example, we will create a cron job to send report of all the windows host and this report will run every day at 2 o'clock and send the email to the receiver. This is just the example. You can pick any schedule that you want. This is the cron shop. It will run every day at 2 and execute windows underscore host sh file that we have created earlier. Let's save this file. Click on save. Log into the WinSCP again and go to the path of USR, Tideway, ETC and cron. Copy the file over here. Convert the file in Unix format. That's it. Your cron job is now ready. This was just a small demo. You can replace the query and the schedule as per your own requirement. And before finalizing it, you can just take this run the query part of the script and execute it from the command line in order to test the results. For example, once this query is executed, 
inside temp folder, you can read the content of the file results.csv. You can also run just the mailx command in order to review the results received. For example, once you receive the email, the email would look like this and it will have the CSV file attached with it. Once everything is ready, log into the command line with Tideway user again and run the command tw underscore cron underscore update to add this job to the cron tab. After doing that, then run the command cron tab hyphen l to verify that the job is added to the cron tab. Here we can see that our job is added to the cron tab successfully. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.